It's not uncommon for D-ball users to combine the steroid with other drugs, such as cocaine. <laughs> what the f Um, I would say that's pretty uncommon. I can't imagine anybody on D-ball is like, you know what? I need coke. I need coke with this. F pre-workout. What's up guys, Derek from ourplacemortaids.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out WikiHow. This is a trusted research and expert knowledge site. You know, this is, uh, you know, seems like an official site and I thought it was interesting how, this is co-authored by WikiHow staff editor too, but interesting, and it has 11 co-authors and they have an article on how to take Diebel. Kind of fucking weird for a site that you would think is um, just like high quality, I don't know, like actual medical information. They have, you know, supposed, you know, reviews from the Atlantic, Vice, you know, Mother Jones, whatever that is. Uh, like when you see a wiki, you just like assume this is like some sort of like decent resource of information. And I was kind of fucking surprised to see a how to take Diana Ball article. So I thought we would go through it together. It's been co-authored by the fucking staff of the website and um, see what it says. Dianabol, also known as mis known as methandrostanolone or metandianone, is an anabolic steroid. If you're a beginner, beginning bodybuilder, you might be tempted by reports of massive gains, but the risk of this drug far outweigh the benefits. Here we've gathered answers to some of your most common questions about this drug so you can make an informed decision on how to approach training. Depends what country you live in. In the US, for example, D-ball is not legal. In other countries such as the UK, D-ball is a controlled substance only available by prescription. If you're thinking about taking D-ball, Find out the drug's legal status in your country ahead of time. D-ball is banned in competitive sports by national and international organizations. Even if it's legal in your country, don't take it if you participate in competitive sports. While there's plenty of Dianabol available on the black market, this isn't a very smart thing to pursue. You can never be sure that the drug is pure or contains the dosage specified, and you won't have medical support while taking it. What happens if you're caught with D-ball? Penalties for illegally using D-ball include hefty fines and jail time. Uh, if you're caught with it, criminal penalties are similar to those for any other illegal drugs in the same class. The classification, though, differs among countries. The penalties are typically more severe if you get caught with larger quantity or if you're legally selling a drug as well as taking it yourself. If you're in competitive sports, testing positive for D-ball can result in fines, suspension, or even a permanent ban. What is it used for? Doctors prescribe D-ball to treat hormonal problems and muscle loss. Patients recovering from cancer or AIDS, for example, may benefit from D-ball. I'm pretty fucking sure it is not prescribed for those situations at all now bodybuilders and athletes who are otherwise healthy spit all over my fucking table take d-ball to increase muscle mass the drug can also give you more energy and generally improve performance since they're not taking the drug to correct an illness or deficiency this is considered misuse bodybuilders and athletes typically take d-ball keep fucking spitting on my goddamn table in much larger dosages than a doctor would prescribe which leads to more severe side effects what forms does it come in Wow, these are like the legit blue hearts, bro. Typically comes in pill or injectable form. What the fuck? <laughs> Typically comes in injectable form. No, it does not. Um, it does. It does come in injectable form, but this is like the most toxic um, carrier oil in general that you're going to find is UGLs that are making suspended D-ball for injection. Um, you can also take D-ball through transdermal patches or by rubbing a gel directly on your skin. However, now again, obviously, you know, that's, you know, debatable what's worse, the hepatotoxicity of the oral or injecting a fucking, you know, solvents and shit that are going to be quite toxic. Anyway, however, pills and injections are by far the most common way to take the drug. You'll most commonly see D-ball sold as a blue heart-shaped pill. I don't know how common that is now, though, but those were, you know, fucking legit back in the day. Um, or the, the pink ties, bro, the pink ties. These pills are illegal in the U.S. and many other countries, even though they are common on the black market. Do women also take D-ball? It's fucking wild. Somebody actually like drew a cartoon picture of a chick taking a D-ball. Yes, women also take D-ball. While the female body may get some of the benefits as the male body, including increased muscle mass and energy, side effects are often different. Women take D-ball for the same reason men do, to build muscle and improve athletic performance. Although it's seldom covered in scientific surveys, women tend to use D-ball and other anabolic steroids far less than men. If you haven't seen the advertisement for women to take d-ball by the way go check out my video it's like uh the original seba advertisement for d-ball it's quite interesting to actually see when these drugs were legal like how they were advertised and how like encouraging it was to like if you want to improve your quality of life you know gain muscle take fucking d-ball and you have like some chick you know in a uh, you know clinical setting getting d-ball kind of interesting to see those ads you know nowadays knowing the history of the anabolic agents um, what are some common side effects? Um, heart attack, stroke, kidney, or liver damage. 
Both men and women might experience hair loss, high blood pressure, fluid retention, blood clots, and high cholesterol. The anabolic can also cause psychological side effects such as aggression, mood swings, paranoia, and hallucinations. Other side effects are different for men and women. Women may also experience facial hair growth, body hair, um, loss of breasts, swelling of the clitoris, deepened voice, increased sex drive, problems with periods. My fucking alarm is going off. One sec, bros. Men may also experience reduced sperm count, shrunken testicles, erectile dysfunction, baldness, breast development, and an increased risk of prostate cancer. Isn't that interesting how paradoxical women lose their tits, men get tits. Can you avoid dianable side effects? Debal plus random pill equals no. Stack <laughs> Stacking. Not really, but users take other drugs to attempt to lessen side effects. Dianable can wreak havoc on your body, especially your liver and circulatory system. Users can add other drugs to the mix to support healthy liver function, attempt to speed up the recovery of natural test production, and control levels of estrogen. The practice of taking other drugs along with Debal is known as stacking. There is no scientific evidence to st that stacking or any other dosage practice reduces the medical harm caused by taking Debal. How does Dianabol affect test levels? Suppresses your natural test levels. It's shown as little as eight weeks, even a relatively low dosage of 15 milligrams a day can decrease test production by 69%. We actually just did a video recently about how it can reduce it pretty substantially with even lower of a dose for a um, lower duration of exposure, I believe, if I recall correctly. Nice little uh, fucking drawing of a dick and balls, which I'll probably have to blur out here. So make sure editors, you uh, center that out. Uh, many users take su supplemental testosterone to alleviate the side effect. As a result of lower tests, men who take d for longer periods may have related side effects, including gynecomastia, development of breasts, shrunken testicles, and erectile dysfunction. If you take d for an extended period, it can take as long as four months for your body's natural test to return to normal. Um, yeah, it could be. Depends on the situation, though. We actually saw the uh, you know overcompensation rebound effect recently that I did the uh, little deep dive on. And um, so yeah, this is not always the case, but interesting. Is Dianabol addictive? Withdrawal, addictive. Depressed on your pillow. Your head is radiating. Your head is also radiating. Fork and spoon. Heart decrease. No, Dianabol is not physically addictive, but users might experience withdrawal. Users often become reliant on Dianabol to build their confidence and self-esteem. It definitely has an interesting like GABAergic component with the inherent um, the ability of it to uh, aromatize into methyl estradiol definitely has a very potent um, kind of like mood elevating effect that seems to be above and beyond what you get from other aromatizing agents. Um, kind of interesting. You know, most people in notice a substantial increase in well-being on Dianabol. Does that just boil down to the fact that your bench press goes up by like fucking 40 pounds in six weeks? Or is it also the methyl estradiol? I think it's probably a combination of the two. So that they end up feeling unworthy without the drug. Long-term users often experience depression and suicidal thoughts when they're no longer taking the drug. Often experience. Fuck, dude. I don't know about that one. It's not uncommon for D-ball users to combine the steroid with other drugs, such as cocaine. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I would say that's pretty uncommon. I can't imagine anybody on D-ball is like, you know what? I need coke. I need coke with this. Fuck pre-workout that are physically addictive. Common withdrawal symptoms for people who stop taking d include fatigue, restlessness, loss of appetite, sleep problems, depression, decreased sex drive. Are there legal alternatives to d <laughs> So this is why I was tagged. d natural alternative, 99 caps, pure bodybuilding dynamite, d max. Yes, there are legal supplements that claim to have the same effects as d -ball. One alternative marketed as d or d max contains vitamin D3. Fuck, that's a definitely a comparable alternative to improve muscle growth and stability along with other herbs and chemicals that fight inflammation and support muscle growth. With a citation, bro, from Apex News. That's definitely reliable and not a paid off article, but okay, let's continue. Other alternative products are typically marketed with some form of the word testosterone in their name, such as Testo Fuel and Testo Max. Always be careful when taking nutritional supplements. Remember, legality and safety aren't the same things. Talk to your doctor about your fitness and performance goals and why you want to take the supplements. Fuck, dude. So, so let's see. Um, we have this picture here of uh, D-Ball Max. Yes, legal supplements claim to have the same effects as D-Ball. I'm sure they do, bro. I'm sure they do. Let's see uh, what Apex News has to say about this. Is it true that Crazy Bulk is an alternative to steroids that will take the body to the next level? What is it? It's a 100% legal and natural steroid alternative. The sole purpose of these supplements is to help users get closer to their dream body. This popular brand offers a wide range of supplements that are specifically designed to help users increase their muscle strength. Upon visiting, you can see products such as Debal, Testo Max, Trenerol, the natural alternative to Trenbolone, Winsol, the natural alternative to Winstrol, Anivarol, Clenbutrol, Decaduro, 
Fucking sick names, bro. Um, interestingly enough, uh, I think Athlean X actually did a video dismantling this brand and its ridiculous claims um, years ago at this point. But I've had it on my to-do list for a while, and I think it's about time we scientifically dismantle this fucking these products, dude. Because I see them all the time. They pop up even on like sites that have like steroid profile websites. You're just looking for like a you know report of like a half life or some pharmacokinetic profile. You get a pop-up, it's like, get the legal alternative to trend, trend abal, or some shit. And it's like, get the exact same effects with none of the side effects, and it's legal and over the counter. And it's like, obviously it must work for, the marketing must work to some extent, or else people would not be, you wouldn't keep seeing it pop up. You know, the ad spend must be, you know, netting them a positive ROI. And it's just fucking baffling that, um, you know, people fall for it, unfortunately. So, and it's funny because these products are like not even, there's like no shame in how ineffective they are. It's just like vitamin D plus like fucking some random herb. Um, even at like underdosed amounts, like they don't give a fuck. It'll be like a prop blend of like natural herbs and shit. And they'll be like, yep, D-ball, 100% legit. So I don't know. I think we will uh, maybe delve into that in another video because this one will get pretty long if I go into those. But let me know if you guys have seen those products. Like they're fucking ridiculous. And I think it's time we uh, check them out. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What have your experiences been with, been with D-Ball, like actual D-Ball? How's it compared to other oral agents that you've tried? Um, have you noticed the thing I talk about with the GABAergic methyl estradiol kind of effects that are commonly reported? How accurate do you think this WikiHow article was? And uh, do you think this is a paid off article? Because I thought it's kind of fucking interesting how they're like, they do this whole breakdown deep dive and at the end, are there any alternatives? It's like, yeah, actually there is. It's called fucking D-ball and it's actually natural and it purportedly has the same effects. Like, okay, bro. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplacemoredates. Facebook, Snapchat, not bitchy, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with. In the video description below, my TRT clinic, all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home, Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas, I designed myself from scratch, my recommended diet model for gaining muscle and sports performance, as well as anything else I'm associated with, it is all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.